Kolo, Yao Bashim Yao Shai, the one Semina Gi Life for the Truth. Then Yao Shai shall rise first, and the one the elders of Great Moose that told me the truth. Now she brought out their team to the house of David, the 144,000, the elect, the Church of the Saints, and the men, women, and children that consist of the elect, the one third of the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. Or you blacks are telling the Native Americans today that are going to be delivered in these evil days to come, protecting these evil days to come. Basically, what we're going to do is um, go right into the scripts. The brother, um, Knox sent me a, a clip from Britain. Britain is, Britain is to send hundreds. Is Britain is to send hundreds more troops to Russian border as Cold War tension escalates across Europe. Right? So all this, all this uh, tension is building up, like we said earlier, through the spirit. You know, you got, you got, you got to. Really wake up to it, the times that we're living in, man. This is very serious times. I said Britain is the mother of America, Great Britain. Which that whole region, like England, Scotland, Wales, you know, Northern Northern Ireland, which basically North United Kingdom, and it's the same thing, man. Called Britain, Britain, Great Britain, United Kingdom. That whole region over there is going to come together. And they're going to shoot missiles upon America, you know. That's the times that we're living in, man. The mother of Britain is the mother of America. You know? That's the times that we're living in. Britain sent hundreds more troops to Russian border as Cold War tension escalates across Europe. Yeah, there's no point in waiting. That's right. There's no point in waiting, man. I take this truth serious, man, because all hell's about to break loose. The dreams are getting more intense daily, you know. The British deployment will, will include a small number of Challenge 2 tanks. <laughs> Britain will send hundreds more troops close to Russian border, the government has said, as the Prime Minister also called for pressure on Moscow over the Syria crisis. See, that's why you got Germany sending troops over there. That's all biblical prophecy. You know, when you're reading Ezekiel. You mean Ezekiel 37, 38, it tells you what the Most High is going to do. That he's preparing Russia to be a defense onto Persia, which is Iran, Libya, and Ethiopia. They're going to get involved. Germany send their tanks. Britain send their tanks, you know. That's all building up for the Third World's War, where America is going to ultimately be destroyed. That's, that's the vibration that's in the air right now. Britain will send hundreds more troops close to Russian border, the government has said, as the Prime Minister also called for pressure on Moscow over the Syria crisis. Around 800 soldiers along with tanks, armored vehicles, and drones will now lead to Estonia in the spring in a NATO effort to reassure, reassure the Baltic states over Russian aggression. He was telling you that whole, that old, uh, 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 the USSR is coming back together, man. You know, Kyrgyzstan, Armenia. Pakistan, Turkey, Turkey, Ministan, that whole area, which the USSR, um, Lithuania, Armenia, Moldova, they they uh disassembled in 1991, but the Lord said you're gonna put the hooks, you're gonna put the hooks into them. It tells you that in the scriptures, man, you're gonna put the hooks into Russia, and that's all biblical prophecy, man. As you can see, the countries are getting together, man. So America's gonna do something real stupid. They're going to do something retarded. And they're going to turn. Even NATO is going to turn on America, man. And the mother of a harlot, Great Britain, she's going to turn on America. America do, is going to do something real stupid. And they're going to turn and they're going to shoot missiles over here, man. The boost met mission is up from 500 announced earlier this year. Will be Britain's largest term deployment to one of Russia's neighbors since the end of the Cold War. And Russia's still salty about that, about the Cold War. Defense sources said the six-month deployment to Tapa Army Base, around 100 miles from the border, was was the part of a persistent UK presence in the country. The British troops will form one of four NATO battalions being deployed in response to perceived threat from Russia to the alliance's eastern allies. 
The announcement came as Russia abandoned plans to refuel and provision warships headed for the headed for the war in Syria at a Spanish port following international pressure on Madrid. Russia's Russia's embassy in Spain said on Wednesday that vessels from a squadron it's heavy because I met a Spain a girl from Spain yesterday. Wednesday that a vessel from a squadron led by Admiral Kuznetsov, Russia's only aircraft carrier, would not stop as planned for refueling in Kuda, a Spanish port on the northern African coast. The Russian embassy in Madrid had just informed us that this is withdrawing the request for permission for stop stopovers for these ships, and these stopovers have have therefore have been canceled, the Spanish foreign ministry said. The Russian defense ministry denied ever planning to stop at Huda and said the carrier group carries sufficient fuel and supplies to operate auto autonomously throughout the, throughout their mission. The Russian ministry, ministry of Defense never sent any requests to Spain about the aircraft carrier at Mario Kuznetsov visiting Huda for refueling, said Maj Jean Igor Konishnikov a military spokesman. Eight ships from Russia, North Northern Fleet, including the Admiral Kuznikov and the Peter and, and the Peter the Great and Missile. Yeah, it's heavy because uh, in Russia and Peter the Great, I remind Peter the Great, there was a man, there was actually 40,000 Afro-Russians in Russia. But you had jakes that was in Russia. You had men that were trained. Like you had a man, I would say, Abraham, Gannibal, man. He was a black man. Israelite. He was trained by Peter the Great in the military and the tactics. You have 40,000 Afro-Russians over there in Russia. So, some of our people are over there in Russia, too. The Tsars and Ivan the Terrible. You know, because Jake was, Israelites were scattered in four corners of the earth. They keep going. A missile-carrying battle cruiser passed with the English Channel en route to Syria last week. A gr the group is expected to join a flotilla operating off the coast of Syria where the Kuznikov MIT-29K and the SU-33 fighters may be used to take part in bombing raids over Aleppo. See? The route of the Russian warships. This thing is picking up, man. This war, man, is gonna... It's, it's, it's here, man. Theresa May said, what we have seen, sadly, is that the Russians are able, already able to unleash attacks on innocent civilians in Syria. What matters is, is that we put pressure on Russia to do what everybody agrees is the only way we are going to resolve this issue, what, which is to ensure that we have a political transition in Syria. And that's where we should focus our attention. Sir Michael Fallon, the Defense Secretary, said the battle to liberate the Syrian city of Raqqa, this, the, the capital of Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant's so-called caliphate, will begin within weeks. Meanwhile, concerns were going about the apparent deployment of two powerful Russian missile co coverts, corvettes to the Baltic. Yeah, man, the Cold War, baby. That's right. The Cold War is going to get hot. It's going to get hot, the Cold War. The Zelenny Dolf and the Serpikov, which carry long-range, nuclear-capable caliber cruise missiles, are to join Russia's Baltic fleet in Kaligan, is Vistia, a pro, a pro government broadsheet reported. The Buyan M class corvettes pose a much more serious threat to NATO than an aircraft carrier. Because NATO was basically created to come against Russia. You know? And said Alexander Moskovy, the editor of National Defense, a Russian military journal. They are not big and expensive, but they pack a serious punch. From the southern Baltic, they could hit London. In fact, the caliber missile will cover most of Europe from there, he said. See, all these things is picking up, man. These things are picking up. So these missiles are going to get shot, man. What the scriptures say. The second wall came, now the third wall coming quickly. We had the second wall, World War Two, And World War Three is at, we at the door at World War Three. I want to give a brother a shout out to Ariata Zayar. Brother from Memphis, he sent me this clip. You know, that's the times we're living in, man. Just to, just to be pushing this truth out, man. Keep pushing this truth. Keep pushing this truth. Don't let shit distract you. Don't let gossip and the shit of this world distract you. Just keep pushing forward to this truth. 
this America is about to be destroyed. You know, we talk about we might be here next year. Who knows? Things might pop off this year. But we might be here next year. We don't know, man. Things can just, you know, and you could just wake up and then boom, like 9-11. And all hell just can just break loose right there. You know, but most high works with surprises and drama. You know, one day you just wake up and everything changes. Everything's on lockdown. Major false flag attack. City just got wiped out. Hundreds and thousands of people dead. Now the country's on lockdown. No elections, no nothing. Or after elections. Who knows, man? But World War III's in the air. It's in the atmosphere. Yahweh, Yahweh Shah has said it. It's going to happen, man. We're almost home. Our kingdom is at the door. Our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, is coming to bring the kingdom. He's at the door. So you better repent. Which the two-thirds, you're not going to repent. The majority of But our job, we don't know who the elect is. I don't know if I'm the elect. Lord willing, I'm the elect. And my comrades... Lord willing, we are part of the elect, but our job is to tell you to repent. Now, what you do after that is between you, the blood is off our hands. Kolo Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Shalom to the house of David. The Church of the Saints, the 144,000. And the men, women, and children are going to be saved from this coming destruction. This third world's war. Shalom. Stay strong. Shalom.